Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Friends Talk. Today with me, I have two wonderful people, Armin from the States and Ines from Belgium. Salam. Bonjour. Hi, guys. Uh, thank you for coming. So, um, Armin, I've heard that you grew up in a very diverse uh, environment. Can you please tell us about that? Yeah, so I was uh, born and raised in the U.S., San Diego, California. Nice. And um, my parents, they immigrated from Iran. And so growing up, I was had a very diverse environment. Like my household was very Persian, Persian food, Persian rugs, decorations. But we also, you know, experienced a lot of the American culture as well. So it was very interesting growing up with those two dynamics. Hmm. Yeah, and uh, your name, I mean, is, is Persian, right? Yeah, it is. It is. Um, it's, it means like brave, and it also was named after like a Persian prince, an ancient Persian, Persian prince. That's beautiful. Do, do you feel brave? Do you yeah. feel like you. Uh, yeah, live? sometimes. Yeah. On certain days. Okay. <laughs> well, okay, Ines, what, what about you? Okay, so I'm from Belgium, but I'm also from Spain because of my dad. Um, yeah, I live in Brussels, and yeah, I grown up with like kind of the mix of the two cultures. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I have to ask you: Do you prefer French fries or paella? Uh, this is not French fries; it's Belgian oh, I'm fries. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't worry. But to be honest, I prefer paella. Mm. Okay, and you say you grew up with both languages. Do you prefer either of them? Um, I prefer French because I'm like more natural when I speak French, I think, but... What, what words, what were the first words you learned in Spanish? Um, that's a funny story because um, the first words that I learned in, in Spanish was the, were the, the bad words. The bad words. Yeah, okay. because when, I'm, when my dad is angry, he speaks in Spanish. Hmm. That's funny because... Uh, my first Farsi words weren't bad words, but whenever my American friends come over, I always, they always want to know what the bad words are. And I tell them, and then they'll say it in front of my parents and other Persian people. And then the reaction is just like insane. And then like they get mad at me for telling them the bad words and I get embarrassed. I feel like whenever you learn another language, the most exciting part is learning the bad words. So please, I, I have to learn some. Um, what, there's two of them. I know there's khar and um, and gusale and those are like typical like road rage words like when someone cuts you off uh-huh. that's something like my parents will say. What does that mean? <laughs> the khar means like it's like an animal but it also just means it's kind of like someone like an idiot or stupid mm. and then gusale is just it's similar it's like dumb like asshole essentially. Hey <laughs> khar. <laughs> Nice. And what about you? Um, I'm going to say hijo de puta. Hijo de puta, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and also joder. 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 It's like shit in English. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Just so you know, I, I'm guessing that your parents will probably watch this. I just don't want you to get in any trouble. Oh. Don't worry. I didn't say the worst one, so we're good. Oh, okay. I didn't say the worst word. Okay. Good. Um, so, I mean, what, what, in what language do you usually consume media in? It's uh, mainly English. I feel like that makes sense because a lot of media mm-hmm. is in American, comes from America, like music and all the movies. But recently I've been trying to listen to more like Persian music and Persian uh, movies because mm-hmm. I wanted to improve my fluency in the language. Yeah. Because I understand a lot, but I have a hard time speaking it. So I want to improve it. It's, it's the same for me, I think, like... For example, in my playlist, I have like both uh, like French music and also like flamenco, like Spanish, you know, old no. Spanish music. Um, and also, uh, we watch uh, with my family the news like every evening in mm-hmm. both languages. So yeah, it depends. Doesn't it all get mixed up or what? The the news. I mean, it could be quite confusing watching two yeah. languages news. You know. Yeah, like. To be honest, I prefer to like watch, like when I speak, like when I hear Spanish news, I need to like think more than mm-hmm. when it's in French. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, you know, guys, being in an international environment like this, um, 
I, I'm, I'm really interested in different holidays and traditions. So, can you, can you Yeah, um, one thing is like, I celebrate two New Year's. Really? Me the too. One, the one in January, and then there's also Persian New Year, which is coming up. It's um, the March 20th, mm -hmm. and it's when winter turns to spring. That's when the New Year's. And like, we have like a celebration. There's like a celebration a week before the New Year, where you like jump over a fire. And then the celebration, uh, the New Year itself, where you have like dinner with your family, traditional meal. Mm -hmm. And then a week after, there's like a, a celebration where you have like a picnic outside. You spend the day outside. That's it's nice. really fun. So it's it's basically around food, like a lot of food. Yeah, food, spending time with family. And there's a bunch of other like mini traditions you mm -hmm. do as well that sort of symbolize the transition to the next to the new year. That's awesome. Yeah. What about you? Do you also celebrate certain holidays or? Mm, like New Year's? Yeah, I celebrate just one new, new year. Mm -hmm. And that's weird because in in Spain, like we eat some grapes. You eat grapes? Yeah, uh, at midnight <laughs> in the new year. So when I'm like in Belgium and I'm like with my friends, I just eat my grapes alone. Just, just eat them like a little Yeah, person. because it's very important. Oh. <laughs> okay guys um thank you for coming thank you um that's it for today it's been really fun uh we learned a, a lot about different cultures and see you next time on the next episode of Friends Talk. thank you thank you